Hey there Lick and Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lick and Riff in which I'm going to show you a couple of ways you can add a jazzy sound into your pentatonic soloing. I'm going to show you a couple of tricks you can use right now to add some jazziness into your soloing. Okay, I'm not talking about blues, I'm not talking about... Okay, we're going to take the A minor pentatonic scale, okay, just the regular pentatonic scale and we're going to add some jazziness. Okay? This is what I'm talking about. And um, it's a lot easier than you think. It's actually a trick. Okay, so there's gonna be no theory, it's gonna be all practical, and we're gonna also finish with... Okay, I'm gonna show you a chord shape that you can derive from the pentatonic scale to get a jazzy chord you can move around, okay, and add to your soloing as well. It's all in the pentatonic scale. So, before we begin, I would like to mention that this lesson is sponsored by the Music Courses on Skillshare. If you click the link below in the description right now, you get free access, two months of free premium access to all the music courses on Skillshare. Anything from piano courses, to ukulele courses, to guitar courses, to vocal training courses for those of you who want to sing better and they also have composition courses, theory courses, and of course music mastering and mixing courses, production courses. They have uh, anything from um, the basics to advanced. They have electronic music production courses. Just go to Skillshare, click the link below in the description and grab your two months of free premium access to everything on Skillshare. Tens of thousands of courses and it's not just music. There's graphic design, there's uh, creative writing, there's marketing, there's anything, anything you want to learn. Photography, video editing, everything. Just go to Skillshare and enjoy yourself. It's addictive. Right, so thank you Skillshare. Right, so um, how do you add jazziness into your pentatonic soloing? Now, uh, I'm not gonna spend time on the pentatonic scale, okay? The A minor pentatonic scale, let's just quickly get it out of the way from the first to the sixth string. It's eight, five, eight, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, eight, five, okay? And, okay, all the, the usual combinations of strings and numbers. Okay, I'm pretty sure you know it by now. Um, so I'm not talking about the blue note. I'm not talking about eight on the third string and six on the fifth. I'm not talking about okay, about the okay, the bluesy sound. I'm talking about the jazzy sound. The secret here is to add the major scale to the scale, but to paint around it. Okay, the the the, the major note. Okay, it's the main note that we're gonna use is six on the third string. Okay. Six on the third string. So if we want to paint around that, we're gonna play seven, five, six. Okay, now this is the basic move. We're painting around the note. Okay, now if you do, okay, the eight, five, eight, five on strings one and two and paint around the six on the third string, it's immediate jazz. But I want to take it a step farther, okay, literally. Okay, and I want to add another chromatic note. Okay, so we're gonna do seven, four, five, six. Instead of seven, five, six, okay, we're gonna play seven, four, five, six. Okay, and if we add embellishment to it, okay, we pull off, and we can slide the five to six, we get the jazzy sound. Okay, and if we continue, okay, and play the scale, we add some jazzy flavor. Now this okay, is the basic, basic move. Okay? You can go to any other note after that, but let's take this, okay, this fingering, ex the exact same fingering, to the second string and play it on eight and five. So it's eight, five, six, seven. Okay? You can play it on the first string as well. Okay, but this is inside the scale. If you play it on the second string, okay, this is a Dorian note. It's another note out of the major scale, the A major scale. So that creates the jazzy sound. Okay, but I said no theory. Okay, so, okay, so when you do it on the second string, you get more jazziness. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to connect it okay, more smoothly in a second. But when you do it in the first string, 
okay? You can just continue the scale, okay? And get that jazziness going, okay? And you can do the same thing from any of those strengths. Okay, so first, practice that move. Okay? Now, um, you can play you can, you can play it in your own style. I don't want to impose my style on you. I want to show you the trick, but I want to show you a couple of more things you can do before I show you how to create a solo out of it. You can, um, you can arpeggiate the scale, okay? Okay, this is another thing that I did at the beginning of the lesson. So you do, it, you do the move on the first rank, okay? Eight, five, six, seven. And then you just play the notes on strings two and three above it. So it's, okay, it's eight on the second string and seven on the third. So you get, and then you go chromatically down to five, okay? Which is in the scale, so six, five. So it's, okay? And you can continue and play five on the first string and eight on the second string and create a full jazzy line. Okay? And then... And then continue. Okay, so... Okay? And you continue and you can finish on the sixth on the third string. Okay, so now you see how it works. Now let me try to create a solo out of it. Okay. So um, my fingers went to four and five on the fourth string. Okay, but instead of doing four, five, six, seven, okay, which is just a normal chromatic line, I did this. Okay, it's outside the pentatonic scale. Okay, it's outside. Okay, but I'm using an extra note, the four on the fourth string, on the D string. So I did four, five, and then instead of playing. Five seven on strings three and four. Okay, the normal pentatonic line. I did four and seven. Okay, so I got okay, which is again okay. It's outside the scale, but it's still inside the sound that we're going for. Okay, it's not completely outside. It's not okay. We're not taking the scale sideways, okay? We're not playing alternate scales here. We're playing the pentatonic scale, okay? Just adding notes, okay? You can slide into the four. You can do seven, five, seven, five, and then slide into the four and finish your line there, okay? And that gives it another jazzy sound because you're finishing on a wrong note. Okay, you can also do the same with six on the fourth. Okay, so. Okay, and that, that little note here on the fourth string, the outside note, um, created enough jazziness to keep you going. Okay, so um, basically we're painting around the extra notes. We're playing the scale and we're painting around the added chromatic notes. Okay, did you get the idea? Okay, now one last thing before we go to the chord. Okay, you can do the same move on the D string. And then, this leads you naturally into seven on the fifth string. Okay, and you can do seven, six, five, but then you're in E. Okay, so you changed it, but E usually uh, goes along with A. Any way you look at it, when you play A minor, you have E major, okay? You have E minor. When you have A major, you have E major. So um, this doesn't get you outside the scale too much, okay? Um, so you can do it too. Okay, and then continue the pentatonic scale. And uh, you're back to A. 
Yeah, you see, you can just add those notes sparingly. Just throw them in there into your pentatonic clicks and you'll do fine. Yeah, you don't even have to play the five all the time. You can just do six and seven on the first rank. Okay? You don't have to play the five and eight. Okay? And just remember to, um, to do small slides. Okay? That's also a big part of the, uh, of the jazzy sound. You don't slide okay, two frets. You slide one fret. Okay? If you just do that, okay? The whole pentatonic scale, if you slide into it, Okay, you get a jazzy sound. Okay, uh, this is again. Okay. You see, just, just that extra chromatic slide immediately gives a jazzy flavor, even without the uh, the approach notes, the, the the painting around the extra notes trick. Okay, you can just add a slide. Now, the chord I was talking about is this, okay? Now, if you look at the scale, okay? Okay, you have eight, eight, seven, seven on strings one, two, three, and four. So you can play it as a chord, okay? Now, this is a six, nine chord, okay? This is a six, nine chord. Take my word for it, okay? Again, no theory. Uh, you just need to know the shape, okay? Because it's in the pentatonic scale. So you can move it around, you can play you can play it on an 8, you can play it on 10, okay, because, okay, it's, okay, it's practically the same thing. You can play it on 5, okay, which gives you the two extra notes that we were playing, okay, the 4 and 4 on strings 3 and 4, okay, so you, okay, you can turn the pentatonic scale into jazz without doing anything, okay, and again, you can do the chromatic slide, okay, for more jazziness. And you can connect everything by doing this, okay, harmonizing the line on the first string, okay, by doing eight, five, six, seven with the whole chord. And just continue. continue your soloing. So um, Skillshare, go grab your two full months of free premium access to all the courses on Skillshare. Thank you very much Skillshare for offering this to us Lick and Riffers and uh, you go practice this, jazz up your soloing and I'll see you in the next guitar lesson. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now. Enjoy.